Hello, we hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very interesting episode of CSK News. A bit of a weekend recap for all the viewers out there and some breaking news. Let's hop into our first story. And again, as always, all today's stories will be time marked down below. But back to our first story, though, and breaking news over the past few days, we have found out we're going to be losing a legendary caster and commentator that is similar to Overwatch itself. Who would have guessed this to be possible many months ago? But it does seem similar is officially leaving the CSGO scene, although we have not seen his face around the past few months. He is officially leaving CSGO for Overwatch and a great timing itself. I'm sure you guys are aware Overwatch league is starting up here in January. It's expected he'll take up a full-time casting and commentating role during that launch sometime in January. Now, of course, many people out there think Overwatch League or OWL is going to be the next big thing. I myself, not a big believer yet, but we'll see if it actually works out. I'm sure the money is there, and it's a great time for a guy like Similar to hop in there and officially leave one scene for another scene, and hopefully he does enjoy doing it. I'm really glad, of course, kind of an iconic partnership him and Anders were. I'm sure you guys are aware we lost that duo, that casting couple, many, many months ago, and it's kind of funny to see. I kind of wraps up the entire story itself. Ever since they left each other as that casting duo, they haven't come back to the CSGO scene. It was one of those couples who really, they were so worked they worked so well together, they just didn't really work or click with anyone else. That's almost how it seems. I know, of course, they could have worked with anybody, but it's great to see Anders himself going off and doing some freelance work and journalism and all that stuff that he loves, and it's also great to see Semler returning to the commentating scene with something that apparently he really does enjoy. So best of luck to him. We'll cross our fingers that he comes back one day, but it, yes, we have actually lost Semler from CSGO to O. But also in some big Google news over the past few days, you might have noticed that when you Google your favorite CSGO teams, it did change a little bit. Now when you actually Google those favorite teams of yours, they actually pull up your live matches or any live matches that are currently going on or being streamed on YouTube will now be the first thing to pop up in your Google feed. Eventually, previously it actually was the Wikipedia links. If you typed in FaZe Clan or Optic Gaming, that was actually the Wikipedia link to come up first. But it seems that Google is now promoting more of esports and it's a great convenience for all of you guys who are out there on the road and want to Google your favorite teams. Just like when I Google my favorite football teams and so on and so forth, their matches do come up. It's now the same for esports out there. So finally being more legitimized on the Google search platform. On top of that though as well, we had the Face It Mapping Core Contest or the Map Core Contest. If you've not heard hear about this, back in November they have originally launched this contest to the community and I think it's a great job. First off, a great job by Face It. I think Valve should definitely implement something like this because of course us as a community base, we make the skins for Valve. Why not make the maps as well and of course draw more attention to what we actually like to play. So I think it's going to be a great thing to see hopefully in the future, maybe, by, maybe done by Valve. Of course, longevity of making a map is so intense. From you know, iconic people like Volcano or FM Pone, we know how long it takes and how much effort it takes to make a map. But great job by Face It. They are now down and announcing their winners sometime soon in the next month or so or the next few weeks. After being down to their top 10 maps, well, I'll show you guys on screen, of course, those top 10 maps. And one of those maps, the winner will receive a cash prize and alongside that be promoted on the Face It platform for the next couple months. So hopefully Valve will implement this in the future sometime. But again, we'll have to wait and see and probably not going to happen with Valve. And then a funny kind of story revolving around Optic Headshot. If you guys have not seen a clip of him saying they're going to win EPL Finals, first of all, I do want to say he was saying it in a very joking way, so I'm not going to judge him for it, but I'm never a fan of when pro players you know, guarantee they're going to win an event, because then when they don't win the event, it's caused for a lot of backlash, but HS said it in a very funny way, so I'm not going to hold him to it, but if you guys have not seen that clip of him saying they're going to win the event, here's that very quickly. I think we have a pretty good shot on doing well here. I don't want to hesitate myself in saying we're going to go here and win it all or anything like that. We just take one step at a time and the first is the group stage for us, so we'll take it from there. I think we will win this event. <laughs> just gold. <laughs> it's just comedy gold. And so of course when they actually lost to Fnatic in that best of three, you know, making the semi still a very good feat for them. Uh, I actually tweeted about, about that saying it was big karma. Once he said they were going to win the event, I knew they were going to lose. And of course, one of my uh, viewers out there and a good friend of mine, Daniel, responded to that tweet saying, don't doubt the crims. I'll show you guys his tweet on screen. And also said a very, you know, weird tagline out of nowhere. He said, it's just snus and bodies everywhere. And apparently this was actually liked by Crims himself. And on top of that, Crims went ahead and tweeted about this captioned the tweet and thought it was very funny and then in future a, a, a few hours later he actually posted an Instagram post about this with the hashtag itself it's just snus and bodies everywhere now of course snus is a type of tobacco that he does of course partake in and on top of that just a funny tagline so it's kind of cool that one of you viewers out there of the show actually influenced a pro player's Instagram hashtag or Instagram and, and their tweets as well so very very funny tagline but on top of that guys lastly for today's episode of CSK News and that was of course ESL Pro League Finals going on this weekend so quick before you guys go on I will be spoiling 
spoiling this tournament for all of you guys who have not seen it yet. And uh, there, your warning is over. It was actually SK Gaming to take the tournament itself. A quick breakdown of that, it was actually SK and FaZe in the final. And those were, of course, our number one and number two teams going into the tournament, as well as they showed themselves very well. They both won their individual groups, going four and one in group A and B, and going automatically to semifinals, where they dominated both of their opponents. It was actually FaZe Clan over Fnatic 2-0 there. And on top of that, SK Gaming dominated Misfits, although that was a very, very predictable matchup. Both teams actually 2-0 swept their semifinal matchups. To meet in the final, though, it was actually SK Gaming who showed their dominance. Even after losing map one Inferno, they then go ahead and take overpass. They steal away Mirage, although Mirage is, of course, very good map for both these teams. It was actually FaZe's pick. They steal away that. They head into map four, which was Train, and SK showed their true talent and dominated on Train and took the best of five, three to one. So overall, great tournament, and obviously great to see if you guys didn't watch my last My Thoughts Don't Matter. It was all about FaZe Clan and SK Gaming. Of course, the two teams right now predominantly being number one and two and also kind of trying to start their own little eras. I think SK Gaming with Bolts, though, kind of shows their dominance in when it comes to experience. This new lineup with Bolts in it looks very dangerous. Let's keep in mind, though, early 2018 for our next major, they can't play with Bolts, but they still look very, very dominant with this current lineup. And again, throughout 2018, we'll see them uh, permanently with Bolts. So watch out, guys. SK Gaming showing their dominance here, but FaZe kind of, of course, still looking very strong. So hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. I will see you guys throughout the week with my thoughts don't matter episodes as well as more episodes of CSK News. Make sure to leave a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.